For most climbers, the holds going on the wall is the beginning. But for hold makers, holds going on the wall is the end goal. When you or I look at a climbing hold, usually the first things that we think of is, is it positive, is it flat, slopey, good edge? How does it feel? And how hard will it be to hold? Very few of us will ever really think, is it gonna be comfortable for the climber? Is it ergonomic? Is it going to promote any sort of injuries? And is it symmetrical? These are the thoughts of modern day hold makers and shapers. They will spend countless hours cutting, sanding, shaping, striving for perfection, and at times having to complete that process over and over just to be satisfied with their product. Some of them will mix, color, and pour their own holds, and others work with larger facilities to do that for them. But regardless of where the plastic is poured, it's the effort and labor of love put into the hold that makes them what they are. From concept to pour and finish, every step along the way is a process. Each maker will have their own spin and flair, and that's part of what makes all the climbing holds so much more than just a piece of plastic that gets bolted to the wall. For the majority of the time, the root setters are the ones that get the glory for their creativity and ability to put together combinations of holds in such a way to challenge us and keep us coming back. The fact of the matter is that the hold shaper is an integral part of that process. The shape of the hold can help unleash a setter's creativity, their drive for competition, all of the encouragement from other climbers, and most of all, the fun of climbing. So next time you're on the wall, take a second to appreciate the craft of the hold makers and know that the work they put in is so that you and I can enjoy the climbing walls as we all love to do.